Yeah, Goth and Mortigan, you scoundrels! Good morning! <laughs> Okay, so what I want to talk to you about today is building a 15 passenger or a extended van interior. This is how I would do it. I would put a six by four bed in, one piece of plywood, three quarter inch with two runners on the bottom of the bed. And that's all you need to hold that bed up. That'll hold all the weight you ever wanted. Then on this side, I'd put a 25 gallon water tank in and then in the middle I would put a sliding out table that slides in under the bed on rails and then slides back out and then you've got a uh, an invisible table and in my design I allow for uh, two of uh, you know two real big chairs you can go smaller but I'm a big guy so I allowed for real big chairs uh, for comfort so it's designed you know for two people then what's really cool about this design is this is a Fords are usually a barn door uh, design and on the on the back door which swings open like this I built the kitchen cabinet attached to the door and it would swing when you open the door this cabinet would swing around and be in this position for outside use which is really cool so if you're out camping or picnicking you can have your stove and your kitchen sink outside and then you can put your drain hose down into this gully where the door is closed and it can just drain out there or you can put a, a tank underneath or you could put a it's just it's just clean water and it's on the ditch side so you could run it you know if you park over a manhole you can just drain it on the manhole i mean it's you know it's just clean water it's nothing you know it's no big deal it's drinking water basically um and then of course over here would be the other barn door and then on this side here i've designed a six or eight drawer cabinet for all your clothes you know if you're going minimalizing well obviously you're not going to have a hell of a lot of clothes and uh, so that'd be plenty for your clothes and then of course you have a whole bunch of storage you know up under the under the bed which is nice too right and then the other thing for propane you can mount it underneath this cabinet underneath the stove or you can mount the propane on the back door and just run a hose over down because it'll flex when you open the door anyways when you open and close the door and then for bathroom, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a big guy. I want a bathroom. So I made the bathroom three and a half feet by three and a half feet with a, with a real big, uh, chemical porta potty. And that's all you need. And you can vent it, you know, through the side of the van or put a vent on the roof of the van for venting. And that takes care of all your smells. And then your fridge, you can keep, you know, your 12 volt fridge, which I would definitely get because they, they don't use much power and they were fantastic. I'd put the 12 volt, volt fridge between the two seats up front. And this way, you're using all of your space very wisely. Um, so that's how I would do it, guys. Um, I don't know what you think, but uh, yeah, if you have any other ideas that you think you could add to it, that'd be great. But uh, if I went to a van, that's the that's the interior I would design. Thanks for watching.